in stereo. All right, a viewer wrote me a letter, and this is kind of a part two. I put it the kilowatt video, which is kind of a part one. But this is a project that he's going to do, and he asked me to draw him a circuit. I described it in the letter back to him how I would do it, and I wasn't going to bother drawing it. I thought I could whip these videos out real quick. It ends up taking hours. But um, anyway, the uh, another little device I strongly suggest, along with the watt hour meter, uh, the kilowatt, is one of these little guys you can pick up at a Home Depot or any of those big box stores. Home Depot's got this green one. It's pretty good, I guess. Most of them are yellow. They're in different sizes and shapes. They've usually got neon bulbs in them. they got three bulbs. One, two, three. There's some LED ones out now. And um, there's usually two yellows and a red. And you just plug it into your outlet, and it'll tell you if your outlet is grounded properly. It'll also tell you if you're... Uh, hot and um, neutral or reversed or not. You get two yellows, everything's kosher. Anything else, then uh, you got some work to do on your outlet. So that's a good starting point actually for this project. I really, you do it with your kid, so I really, you know, really think you should make this a lesson for the kid, um, your son. Um, in terms of safety, and doing a little research here and there and the whole shebang, you know, if you guys are doing this together, make it a learning. I'm sure that's why you're doing it. So, in my video, or in the comments, I, I suggested uh, you get a light duty, you know, air conditioner extension cord, which are not light duty, but you don't need a real heavy duty one. Um, if you're going to use these meters, these gauges that you were talking about, the watt and the amp are going to limit you somewhat. I didn't look at the max on the amp, but I noticed your watt meter only goes up to 500, which actually a dim bulb tester isn't much use over 500 watts anyway. You really have to tree up a bunch of bulbs to make that work. Not that I haven't done such crazy things. So, make sure that you understand and do this with your son. In fact, what I would really recommend you do is look it up yourself, have your son look it up, and then proceed with this video and make sure you understand which of these terminals is hot, ground, and neutral. Now, looking at a socket, this is neutral, this is hot, this is ground. Don't take my word for it. Look it up. Make it a learning experience. And again, one of these little widgets you can get for about six bucks, give or take a couple bucks, um, at almost any store that sells electrical stuff. It's a, it's a real good aid. It's a real cheap thing to have. It's go through all the outlets in your house and um, you know know what's dangerous. You're, you're probably going to find in most houses you'll find something wrong. Um, so if you're using this gauge that you showed me with 500 watt maximum, then a 5 amp fuse could go slow blow even, but probably fast actually would be fine. I would add a switch. These are all in series. These, this is the hot wire. Make sure you know which leg is hot for sure. Double check everything including what I'm telling you. And then um, go to the lamp. Now the lamp has got two. I would use one of the ceramic socket lamps like I was showing in my video. But the contact that goes to the center post of the bulb, that should be on this side. And the side that goes to the ring of the bulb and the socket should be on this side. A little less likely to get shocked because if the bulb is loose and the uh, ring is exposed, then um, if you touch it, you'll just be touching neutral. Well, you'll be touching nothing but, a f yeah, well, neutral through this, whatever you got plugged in. Um, so then the lamp, of course, the lamp wattage is going to be, like I always say, for a rough starting point, um, just make your lamp wattage more or less equal to what you're going to test. Your DUT, your device under test. Now this is another outlet, you know, the outlet of your device. There's your neutral, it just goes straight through, untouched. And if you get one of those air conditioner extension cords, you can, it's a three line zip, so you can actually leave this wire unbroken, and even the ground unbroken. 
Now, if you have a metal chassis, then I wouldn't break the ground wire, but I would separate the three in the zip, pull the ground wire out, strip about a half inch off, more or less, and um, just solder a wire onto it, and then ground it to your metal chassis if you're using a metal chassis to put this whole assembly together on. Um, if you're using plastic, you don't really have to do that. But um, it almost would be safer to use metal, I mean to use plastic. There's pros and cons either way, I suppose. Um, you know, metal for fire safety, definitely supreme. But it also makes a shock hazard, you know, potentially. Because now you've got a grounded metal plate there. And you're messing with electrical stuff around it, you know. So it would almost be nice to make out of a plastic chassis, but it really doesn't matter. I mean, just as long as you know what you're doing. The hot wire is where everything is cut into. First is your amp meter, because there's a resistor in that. It's called a shunt. So there's some voltage trap across that amp meter. Then your watt meter, which has to measure voltage and current both. It also has a shunt in it. And the voltage... It's going to be right off of one side or the other to make the... Well, it's, it's actually not even done that carefully. It's a... It's basically a current meter, I believe, but I don't want to get into that. It's it's all mechanical, so... What I'm getting to is, you know, which post to use in a watt meter, I'm not sure how to determine that. You know, it would make a real marginal difference, if any. And then after this, right across your socket, you can use your voltmeter, your voltage gauge, and this can be wired with smaller wires than the rest of this stuff, which should all be 16 gauge or 14 gauge, and then to your socket. So that's, whoops, 